Over the last several years, there's been a good amount of videos exposing the International Space Station. And of course, before there was the International Space Station, there was the supposed mere space station in space. Both equally fabricated nothing more than lies pulled off by the Masons, the International Organization, the Secret Society, those that own and control this world behind the scenes, basically fooling the whole entire world into believing the lies. Just take a look at this animation, this garbage, that's all they feed us. But that's all you need is animation to fool the public. They never give us anything real, but it doesn't matter. TV is complete mind control. Look at this guy. He's pointing at this, this monitor, this basic animation. So it must be real. Take a look at him pointing at the, at the monitor. So it's real. It's all you need to do. Have these type of screenshots. I start this video here with Miles O'Brien. And this guy's complete joke to the whole entire presentation. I'm not going to play the whole entire presentation from CNN. This is going back to March 2001. But basically, he's smiling through the entire thing. He knows it's a complete joke. Nothing more than animated graphics as he's talking through the whole entire thing. I'm going to play a portion. Then I'm going to show the video of the supposed re-entry. And it's basically nothing more than a fireworks show. Unbelievable how easy it is to fool the masses. Looking up at Mir as it comes in. Let's take a quick look at our 3D animation of the Russian space station Mir. What you're looking at right here is yeah, just a bit animation. of moment of history. That is the Russian landmass, and that is the last time that the space station Mir will leave it behind. All Again, all they give us is animation. They can supposedly capture... You know, images of planets millions of miles away. But this supposed space station Mir was supposedly only 250 miles above Earth. Give me a break. Let's continue on the video and show more of this complete garbage. Altitude indication right there. I don't know if you can read that at home, but it says it's already at 101 miles in altitude. That's uh, about 60 uh, kilometers and or did I do that backwards? So it would be a hundred and yes, it'd be a hundred um, uh, what a hundred and twenty kilometers. No, more like a hundred and sixty. Excuse me for that. The mathematics is escaping me at this point. It sure is. But in any case, it heads out over to the Pacific now, dropping very, very quickly, headed toward our Hugh Williams, who is in the uh, lovely island on the lovely island of Fiji, and uh, he's been giving us a sense of who is gathering there. Well, again, the whole entire time, he has a big smile on his face. Complete joke. And what they hope to see. Hugh? Well, Miles, yes, it's the toughest. And Naughty. How they love a play on names. There's no supposed re-entry of Mir. Mir was never in space, so-called space. And the play on names with Naughty, like Illuminati. This, is, this place was selected based on the, the play on names. They love a play on names. Simon, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> the mood here in Fiji is uh, pretty relaxed right now. Yeah. Uh, like Karen said, the weather is um, well mostly clear, but there have been a lot of clouds building up this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so it's sunny and humid, and it's uh, pretty much business as usual for most people here. Uh, there is a certain curiosity about Mir, but uh, no one in Fiji uh, seems that scared about it. Falling under yeah, he keeps going on and on, just a bunch of garbage. Just move on with the video a little bit more. Just for the sake of the video, I don't, I don't want this to drag on, show all the garbage necessary. I want to get on to the supposed re-entry of Mir. Let's take a look here. Talk about this for Japanese, Japanese journalist. For Japanese television reporter Toyohiro Akiyama, it was the assignment of a lifetime, an assignment to space. The Tokyo Broadcasting System, or TBS, paid the Soviet Union a reported $12 million yeah, sure. to launch Akiyama to its Mir space station where he did live reports. Akiyama, who spent a year and a half in rigorous training for the assignment, is the first Japanese and the world's first journalist ever in space. Yeah, right. Basically, when you say journalist, you mean paid liar, paid propagandist. That's all they are. Here's another one here. Take a look at this. Again, skipping ahead. Object. So I saw them through a color viewfinder in my camera, but uh, a very goldenish perhaps a little bit silvery silver and gold again if you follow my channel you'll know all about the silver and gold in the occult um 
fireballs, basically, not leaving a huge trail, more like a, like a, a sparkler being whipped through the air. Yeah. And there was no smoke well, trail that I saw, but uh, the speed and uh, just the the size of the object was amazing, it's like something out of a science fiction movie. And that's exactly right. And another form of mockery, saying it's like a science fiction movie, just like 9-11, just like so many of these hoaxes they have perpetrated on the masses. They always say it's like a movie. Nothing new under the sun, even going back in time to 2001. Now let's take a look at this garbage re-entry. It's a complete joke, a complete farce. First I'm going to show the unedited version, then I'm going to show CNN's version. Again, nothing but a complete joke. You expected a bridge to fall out of the sky, straight from the sky. Look at the trajectory here. It's like it's basically rockets launch, maybe from a battleship. It's a complete joke. Take a look at this garbage. I mean, if you buy this, you'll buy anything. I mean, look at the angles taken. How small is the so-called ball Earth to, again, take this trajectory and take a look at this arch coming up? It's like a 4th of July. This is a good perspective with these palm trees to get a good idea how ridiculous this is. I mean, how people can't see what's taking place here is beyond me. I mean, a complete joke. People fall for this garbage hook, line, and sinker. Now, let's take a look at CNN's edited footage that aired at the end of their presentation of this complete, again, garbage. We start off right here at this point. It was too obvious, as I show here. Let me just back up here once again to show <laughs> where it's supposedly falling out of the sky is coming straight from Earth. They think the masters are stupid. I agree they are. They fall for this. Take a look again here. This is where it starts with CNN. I'll play it right now. They, look, they knew it looked too ridiculous, you know, to, to again show it at this perspective. Let me go back here once again. Let's show it at this perspective. Now let's play this again edited CNN version where they start it right here. Yeah, that's, that's me all right, sure. You're taking a look now at the newest pictures coming in yeah. of Mir falling to earth in the South Pacific. This video just in to CNN. Let's take a look. Yeah, right. As we told you less than an hour ago, Mir took its dive to Earth. That Doesn't take much to fool people. All you need to do is put it on TV, and people will fall for hook, line, and sinker. I showed this quote many times from Richard Nixon, no hero, once again, but the truth. The American people don't believe anything until they see it on television. It's all you need, some, some bogus graphics. Just like there's some clown pointing at something. Oh, look at this. This must be real. The re-entry. This is where it landed. The mere landed. Let me show some more garbage, you know, basic graphics where the supposed debris landed in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm going to show some. This is, again, going back to 2001 with this garbage footage of the supposed re-entry. Now I'm going to play some footage as i shown before. Showing how the world's a stage, not only you know, is the U.S. fabricating, you know, going into space, Russia, and also China as well. Let's take a look here, just for reference, going back to 2013 and the supposed Chinese moon landing with this probe. Again, nothing but complete garbage. Now, this is the camera. Uh, on, on the land, descending this is the first picture of the moon taken by Chang'e 3. Well, it seems uh, pretty close already. We can see the lunar surface very clearly. Yeah. Yes, it is uh, only a uh, few kilometers above the lunar surface. And because there is no atmosphere, so it's a very clear image. And it is daytime. And it's also daytime. The lighting is, uh, is perfect for uh, picture taking. This is a picture taken by China. For the, for the sake of the video, I'm going to speed this up a little bit and just show again how ridiculous the supposed probe moon landing by the Chinese space program. It's a complete, again, complete joke. 
is the pictures taken on the camera of Tonga free of the lunar surface. And these are the last 30 minutes for the journey of Tonga free until it landed on the moon. What exactly is taking this footage of the supposed moon landing? Well, it is hovering again. It landed on the moon. Tom Murphy is on the moon. The first. These people must feel completely ridiculous clapping over some CGI fakery. But they're just doing their job, and I'm sure they're being paid very well. Chinese lunar probe is on the surface of our celestial neighbor, the moon. Yeah, right. Chang'e has landed. And you see Chang E3, turn the E around, you get your 33, also coded for masonry as well. Look at very stable. It seems that Chang'e is in good shape. Everything is perfect until now. This is the ch first Chinese vehicle to land on a celestial body. One thing I find interesting as well, this barely received coverage by the world media. It was so ridiculous. Yeah, I see CNN cover just a little bit of this, but they didn't show the actual footage. They just showed basically screenshots talking about how China supposedly landed this probe on the moon. It's very hard to find actual you know, news coverage of this because they know it was so ridiculous. It couldn't pass, possibly pass this off as real. It was basically received very little coverage. This is still the landing camera that is working on the on board the probe, but you can see a shadow of this probe. Um, uh, is, yeah. You know, you can see uh, the surface has been shuttled by itself. Yeah, sure. uh, we haven't seen a lot of uh, dust that has been uh, agitated. That's because we shut down the main engine. Uh, on... Now look at these guys. They're all laughing. It's a big joke. Four meters. Uh, before well, obviously, uh, the scientists and engineers have congratulated uh, on the success of the landing of Lunar Probe. Uh, these are the people who are behind the mission no this shame time of Chandler 3. Would it be surprised if they're giving each other a Masonic handshake? Of Chandler 3. They put their time and energy Find interesting as well. They have China space on the back of their cloaks as well in English. Into this mission, and they have been working years to make this happen. Give now, me a break. find this all pretty sad, but at the same time, very fascinating. How these people, these governments, have basically fooled the world, from again China to Russia to the U.S., you know, all working together, all Masons, you know, owning, controlling all of TV, all of these supposed space launches. Unbelievable how the world has been deceived into buying into this lie. I've said it many times when the Bible states that Satan has deceived the whole world. This is very literal. The people can't grasp this. It goes in one ear out the other for those that believe in the Bible. They don't understand how literal it is. And in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, how would you prove to us that you're in zero gravity? We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society.
Tom. When I was talking with the gentleman from Belcom, and and we were discussing uh, the lie, everything he was telling me was different from what we were being told uh, was the truth. And at one point, I asked him. I said, "Man, you guys, you, you lied about a lot, didn't you?" And instantly, he said, "No, we didn't lie about certain things. We lied about everything." It's never